Selkirk introduces next level control, spin, and comfort with their new series of Amp Control Pickleball Paddles. Utilizing their three most popular shapes, the S2, Epic, and the Invicta, Selkirk leans these designs in the direction of control complemented with a measured amount of power. At the heart of the matter is the precision-oriented X5 polypropylene core, which at 16 millimeters soaks up vibration without sacrificing feel. And combined with a fiberglass surface base layer, along with Selkirk's noticeably improved FiberFlex outer layer, pockets the ball for incredible dwell time and spin potential that is nearly top tier. The amp control paddles are available in five different colors and provide the same control-oriented performance, affording free swinging confidence from the baseline. And near the kitchen is where the Selkirk amp control paddles are particularly well suited to test the skill and patience of even the most ardent dink technicians. If you're looking for a premium all-court control-oriented paddle without the premium price, the Selkirk amp controls are a great option to consider. And we had a great time testing these paddles, the new amp controls. I know what kind of a shape you typically gravitate towards. What was your opinion and what was your favorite shape of these paddles? Um, so I liked all of them. It's uh, tough for me to really pick a winner here, but I did like this S2 the most. Uh, shape really fits what I like in a paddle. And I really like the spin I got out of this. A lot of grit on the surface and I felt like I was getting good rotation on the ball. Um, loved it up at the kitchen. My dinks were working really well. I did like that Invicta on serve, or if I was at the baseline, I felt like I got a little bit more pop and drive on my shots, but overall, I'm more of a control player, and so the S2 was where I was at. What about you? Keeps you feeling connected to the ball Most in your definitely. shots. Yeah. I really enjoyed all these paddles. I'm definitely gonna reflect and agree with what Chris said in regards to them being extremely spin friendly. It's gotta have something to do with the combination of the X5 core, the fiberglass base layer, and then uh, the improvement on the fiber flex. I mean, Chris and I tried to beat the grit off of these paddles, and so far it has stayed put. I would say they're really premium paddles, minus the premium price. Uh, my favorite, probably you could guess, was the Invicta. It's just a little easier to roll the ball. It is a little more of a challenge to swing it this way. But overall, these are just great all-court paddles. Uh, if you want you know, soft, comfort, and spin-friendly, I don't know how much better it could get. Pretty premium all the way around. Yeah, I'm a big fan of that 16 millimeter thickness, and I felt like a, the, you know, the ball sat on the paddle well with this one, so I got a ton of control and feel. And I mean, that was it for me. I just really felt like I was in control of my shots. Rarely did I, if ever, over hit, and if I did, I felt it was all on me. You know, it wasn't something I was getting a hot spot or anything from the paddle. Thought the hitting face was really consistent. So yeah, definitely two thumbs up for me. This is a paddle I could definitely continue to use. Really enjoyed it. All right, in my opinion, I definitely have my feelings on the handle, but I'm definitely curious. Chris, what'd you think of the handle? I know we're both kind of finicky in particular about size and shape. Yeah, this one, uh, pretty good. For me, I don't need a long handle because I'm single-handed off both wings, but I do pay attention to the shape. This one just gets a passing grade. I like a bit more of a tennis racket feel handle because I come from tennis. Um, but this one, it's nice and comfortable, does the job. I definitely agree. Love these paddles from any part of the court. I definitely think they are very well seat suited anywhere in the mid court or a little nearer to the kitchen. Very soft, very compliant and obedient. And that pretty much completes the premium feel of these all court control oriented paddles. If you'd like to learn anything more about these new Selkirk paddles or anything else pickleball related, be sure to head over to pickleballwarehouse.com. And if you're joining us down under, be sure to go to totalpickleball.com.au.